from heartlessly invalidating her father's feelings to practically ghosting her lover and putting his life on the line. These are some of the most shameless things Brianna Randall Fraser ever did in Outlander. Starting things off with Brianna telling Roger to leave. Thanks to her endless rashness and annoying behavior, Brianna may just be the character Outlander fans love to hate the most. But who can blame them? In the episode Wilmington, when Brianna found out why Roger was in the past, she acted a little bit like a child. And after the pair got engaged, the happiness of their wedding doesn't last very long. Brianna finds out that Roger knew about the deaths of her parents but didn't tell her. And knowing Brianna, you can guess how that went. Roger tried to justify his silence by saying he was planning to tell her but didn't want to crush her. After all, he shared the great news of their reunion with her the last time they met. And in classic Brianna fashion, instead of trying to work things out with Roger, she orders him to return to the 20th century. But that doesn't even come close to what she did to her own father, giving a less than honorable reaction to Claire and Frank's divorce. Fans may remember the episode, Down the Rabbit Hole, since Brianna was the main focal point of that. This episode displayed how she thought and felt about Frank and Claire's divorce. Brianna came back home after a normal night out with her friends, but when she got home, the night proved to be not so normal. Frank ambushed her and told her that he was getting a divorce from Claire and moving to England to start a new life. And as you'd expect, she doesn't take the news very well. Frank then tried to explain that he and Claire were no longer happy. But it's Brianna we're talking about. She asked if she had a say in the matter. And since she wasn't even 18 at that point, she obviously didn't get one. I'm sure that must have pissed her off quite a lot. She could have tried to validate Frank's feelings more instead of not listening to what he was trying to explain. But even that wasn't the worst thing she ever did. Have you ever heard the phrase, sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will break my soul? Yeah, Brianna hasn't. And she went on to provoke Leary. Also, in Down the Rabbit Hole, viewers got to see Brianna start her journey to America, where she briefly stayed with Leary. Even though the two women got along well at first, their friendship goes downhill when Leary finds out that Claire is her mother. And as always, instead of ignoring the bait, Brianna shoots back at the maiden by telling her that Jamie had never loved her. Honestly speaking, she didn't even have to do that because it brought her down to the same level as Leary. Yet, Brianna did it anyway, even though she knew it would hurt her. Even though Brianna's fans cheered her on, it's still a shameless act. Because she basically told Leary that their whole marriage didn't mean anything, which is a bit mean. Whether it's her words or actions, sometimes I think Brianna doesn't even realize she's putting others at harm. And that was the case when she tried kissing Roger when he was driving. Putting her and Roger's lives in danger was probably one of the most reckless and shameless things Brianna could have done. In the episode, The False Bride, Roger is invited to speak at a Scottish festival. So the historian and his wife embark on a road trip to North Carolina. And if you've ever been on long road trips, they can get a little boring and frustrating. So to pass their time on the road, Roger and Brianna had been playing a game. And as Brianna leaned over to kiss him while he was driving, she completely caught him off guard. Hence, Roger experiences a momentary lapse in steering control, which could have been fatal for both of them and nearby cars. Even though nobody has an issue with their connection, Brianna's decision to do so was risky and may have led to an accident. And the worst part of all of this is the fact that she didn't show any concern for her actions. Speaking of lack of concern, this wasn't the only time she neglected Roger, as she left him without saying goodbye. After learning of her parents, Claire and Jamie's, impending deaths in season 4, Brianna made the decision to travel back in time to join them. And as always, you can certainly expect her to be rash. Instead of telling Roger the news of her departure directly, she penned a letter for him which he'll receive a year later. Now, in most cases, that would have been fine. But, taking their past into account, Brianna's letter can be seen as a shameless display of disrespect for their relationship. Honestly speaking, when you've been together like these two were, Roger at least deserved a chance to say farewell. 
even if the romance between them had ultimately failed. Especially since Roger made peace by letting her know Jamie and Claire were together. He at least deserved that. But then again, keeping secrets is kind of her thing. I mean, she did hide Jamie's survival. One of the sneakiest and less than honorable things Brianna did was not tell anyone that Jamie was still alive. In the episode Dragonfly in Amber, Claire and Brianna's relationship gets tense when Brianna finds out the truth about where she came from. But when Galus went through the stones and the two of them made up, the viewers found out about something Brianna neglected to tell Claire. Brianna asks Roger, when he gets back, to tell Claire about the letter he found. According to that, Frank found proof that Jamie is still alive. Now the big question here is, how long had she known, and if Galus hadn't gone through the stones, would she have ever told Claire? If you ask me, I think she would have kept it to herself, because that's something Brianna would definitely do. If she's got something that could hurt, you can bet she'll use it, even if it's her own parent. Brianna's worship of Frank is probably one of her most shameless traits. Okay, yes, I understand that she and Frank had a special connection, which makes sense as he was her mentor and the student wanted to follow in the historian's footsteps. It seems completely normal and okay, right? Well, it's Brianna. Nothing is ever normal or okay. She sometimes uses Frank's memory to hurt those around her, especially Jamie and Claire. For example, when Claire and Brianna have their big fight at the end of season two, she makes Frank look like a good and innocent husband. Ouch. She also has the habit of comparing Frank to Jamie and telling him all the ways Frank was better. It's like her trump card that she uses to make them feel bad, which isn't fair when they're trying their best. She'll literally use any means to prove her point or get what she wants, even manipulation. And Brianna blackmailing John to marry her was probably one of the worst things she did. In the episode, if not for hope, Brianna is backed into a corner when her Aunt Jocasta throws a dinner party to try to find her a suitor. Since Brianna is in love with Roger, she is quick to come up with her own plan. She walked up on Lord John Gray having a <laughs> one of her suitors, and she was quick to suggest that he should marry her. As you'd expect, John refuses to accept her proposal out of respect for Jamie. But Brianna wasn't playing and threatened to expose his sexuality. Even though Brianna is just trying to protect herself and her child, it's still disgusting that she would use this as a bargaining chip, knowing full well that John could be killed or put in jail if anyone found out. Well, those were some of the most shameless things Brianna has done in The Outlander.